welcome to Round Robin. I'm Celine Guerrero with the City of Hampton. And today we have two amazing guests that own a very beautiful and historic venue in downtown Hampton. Uh, the owners of Magnolia House Inn, Langford and Joyce Blair. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome. So mm -hmm. uh, I want to know more about this. Um, it's a bed and breakfast and it, it serves multiple purposes now because you also do, uh, you also have a wedding chapel there. So Joyce, go ahead and tell me a little bit more about that and how it's evolved from bed and breakfast to a little bit more. Well, um, we purchased the property in 2004. And uh, when we found it, it, the property was a restaurant here oh. in downtown Hampton. Uh, we did a two year renovation to um, construct our guest rooms on the second level, open the Magnolia House Inn as a bed and breakfast and uh, did some serious marketing to get people here and let them know that we were here in Hampton for their lodging needs when they travel through. Um, since 2006, we um, have been growing our guest list. Um, in 2009, the wedding chapel was added to our business. Uh, we are certified wedding officiants and we offer that service in the Magnolia House. We have a wedding chapel set up on the property for up to 20 guests, and it is quite busy. I'm sure. Yes. Uh -huh. and, um, and now, Langford, do you want to tell us a little bit about how now you um, have expanded, that wedding chapel has expanded a little bit more, so when you do have bigger parties, you are now um, utilizing the, the Hampton History Museum. So tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Well, we've entered into a partnership with the Hampton History Museum, and we will begin doing our larger weddings in the, hist in the hall. The historic, Their grand hall. The grand hall. Beautiful. And that will accommodate up to 80 guests. Okay. So what we're doing is providing the same service, just on a larger scale, at a very beautiful facility. Yeah, that sounds, that's it, and it is, it's just gorgeous. You go from one beautiful location to another, and then you're in the, that heart of Hampton, too. Mm -hmm. um, and so, can you tell me, you know, how do people come to you uh, as far as, you know, they want their wedding there? Do you have uh, wedding packages? Do you help, you know, coordinate uh, and uh, plan the, the wedding, or how, how is it that you're involved? Most couples find us online. Okay. Uh, we have a very good web presence for our weddings here at the Magnolia House Wedding Chapel. Um, we provide a full service for ceremony only. So we refer our couples to local photographers, florists, and always to restaurants and other venues for their celebration after the ceremony. Mm -hmm. So our facility uh, accommodates their wedding ceremony and their photography in a lovely historic property after the ceremony. And then we help them coordinate the rest of the celebration for the day away from our facility. Okay. Uh -huh. It is not required that guests spend the night at the Magnolia House to have their weddings there. And how far in advance should couples reach out to you? Um, for the larger 80 guest weddings, we expect um, to be at least a year out for okay. planning because that's a bigger event. Mm -hmm. But usually for the 20 guest weddings, we have scheduled and planned a whole wedding in about three days. Wow. If we have availability, we can do it. That's so in a lot great. of a lot of couples do that. Mm -hmm. they, they have a guest list and they pull it all together in a short period of time. But the average is about three months. Okay. Mm -hmm. And where, where are couples coming from? Are they more uh, Hampton based? Do they come from all along the peninsula or um they come from the east coast of Virginia. We mm -hmm. are the destination for some couples who really value the um, affordableness of what we're offering here in Hampton. They bring their families here. Our, we only have three guest rooms, so mm -hmm. we refer them to local hotels and other venues okay. for their needs while they're here. Okay. Um, they get to tour as well in Hampton and the surrounding areas here in Tidewater. Yeah, because you are within walking distance to the great downtown restaurants, yes. to the, obviously the museum, mm -hmm. and then the Air and Space Center. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot for the guests and the, the couples, and just you know guests in general to your bed and breakfast to do. Um, 
Now, Langford, I do want to talk about the, the history of this house. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you mentioned that, you know, you have the rooms and you had to renovate. Can you tell me about the history and then sure. the rooms that are available to guests? Well, the Magnolia House was built between 1885 and, 80, and 1889 by a harbor pilot. It's, it's actually known as the Scott Magnolia House. Oh, so wow. it's on the historic registry as the Scott Magnolia House. Mm -hmm. and primarily because of the four huge magnolia trees that are in the front yard, mm -hmm. about as old as the house. And Mr. Scott was a harbor pilot and um, probably second or third generation harbor pilot. So he and Mrs. Scott um, raised their five children in the home. And in 1950, the house was turned into apartments. So for about 50 years, there were five apartments there. And, during the time that we've lived there, we've had several residents come back to view the Magnolia House to see oh, and sure. point out where yeah. their apartment were. And most of the residents at that time were stationed at Langley Air Force Base, and they bring a little bit of history back. Mm -hmm. um, I guess in the 90s, the house was turned into a restaurant, a fine dining restaurant, and that's how it was operating when we found it in, in 2004. Um, the house has been well maintained. A, a lot of the original architecture remains, the, the hardwood floors, the columns, the curvature walls, the lay glass in the windows. So that's part of the charm in, of Definitely. the house. And that's one of the selling, that was one of the selling mm -hmm. points for us when we found it. So all of our guests, when they walk in the door, are amazed by the architecture and, oh, and sure. the history that remain. Yeah, and to have it, you know, be so, you know, intact and original, mm -hmm. that is just amazing. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Joyce, could you tell me what a guest could experience, um, and not a wedding guest, but just, mm -hmm. you know, a regular guest going for the weekend to stay there? Mm -hmm. What is their day like there? Oh, yes, our check-in time is between 3 and 6 p.m., so guests check in, they get a tour of the property, and we tell them about all of the amenities available. It is a, a private stay. But we, we or our assistants are available to provide services if they need it. Mm -hmm. uh, we keep um, a guest pantry that's stocked with beverages, including wine and beer and soft drinks. And we put seasonal fruits out and a dessert item every night, tea, coffee. The, our guests help themselves to that area. Um, their guest rooms are fully equipped with cable television, um, luxury linens, uh, Wi-Fi, and uh, each room has its own thermostat for central air and heat. Okay. Everyone has their own private bathroom. Um, we keep CDs in the rooms. The rooms are loaded with music and books, and, mm -hmm. and um, it's a nice private stay. So they have a lovely experience in their guest rooms as well as the rest of the property. We have a library equipped with books and games, uh, videos, and uh, we have a music parlor that the piano is kept tuned, and a lot of our guests do play and oh, entertain us all. So nice. yeah. yeah, so um, it's lovely, and uh, when the weather allows, the guests enjoy the porch as well. Okay, and now um, I heard that the rooms are themed. Is that is that true? Is there yes, <laughs> yes. Can you tell me a little yes. bit about that? Um, the Haven is a queen room with private bath, and it has a little of Hampton's history in it. We have some uh, mementos of Bay Days and things, uh, nautical themed. Um, even though it's a nice, comfortable, and exquisite room, it does have mementos of Hampton in it. The Writer's Retreat is another queen room with private bath, and it is a happy room. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to say that a lot of authors find us and book a stay in the Writer's Retreat oh, wow. to work on whatever they're doing at the mm -hmm. time. Recently, I pulled all of the books that authors who have stayed with us have inscribed and given us, and we have 24 books from that authors who have actually stayed in the Writer's Retreat. Wow, that's And uh, use their time with us to, mm -hmm. to work on their um, books and papers or whatever their mm -hmm. themes are. And then the Ellington Suite um, is our most premier guest room. It has a sitting room, a uh, king bedroom, private bath, and then it has the luxury spa tub room. 
spa tub room has, um, the spa tub, excuse me, has light therapy and massage therapy. Oh, okay. The That's Ellington so nice. Suite also accommodates a couple's massage. We have professional massage therapists in our area who will come and provide the uh, services uh, for our guests en suite. So it's, it's a nice amenity as well. It sounds just like a lovely experience all around. Yes. And Langford, can you tell us where can guests find you? How can mm -hmm. they book their stay there? Well, we have a, a strong web presence. Mm -hmm. So if they just Google Magnolia House in Hampton, they will find us. They can view the rooms as well as book, book their reservations online. In fact, that's how most of our guests mm -hmm. find us. Also, what has been very beneficial and helpful to us is our strong presence on TripAdvisor. Okay. We've consistently received uh, five-star reviews over the uh, last five consecutive years. Wow, that's great. So mm -hmm. our potential guests read the reviews and that's been very pos and they've been very positive and that's driven, mm -hmm. driven the guests to us. One thing Joyce f forgot to mention as mm -hmm. part of the guest experience is the great breakfast that she prepares. I did every, read about that, so I do want to know about prepares that. Prepares every morning. <laughs> it's a, a full plated breakfast, and we pay attention to our guest dietary needs, which and challenges, which are many yeah, at some time. Sure. But she's been able to meet all those challenges during the twelve and to so thirteen years that we've been cooking. Is it? I prepare breakfast. Really? I also have an assistant, Rose Nieves. Okay. She prepares breakfast as well. So we are in partnership in doing that, yes. That sounds mm -hmm. wonderful. And I set the table. Yes, he does a great <laughs> job doing table settings. He greets the guests every morning. He does the morning beverages, juices, and coffee. Oh, and uh, we so serve lovely. together. Mm -hmm. That sounds so, so lovely. Yeah. Well, thank you all. And do you all have anything else to add? Maybe, you know, inviting guests to come and, and tour? Uh, is that a possibility they could tour the, the facility before they yes, book? Yes, mm -hmm. we, um, we do give tours for the wedding chapel mm -hmm. for our up to 20 guest weddings. Um, couples can find us on virginiaweddingchapel.com. Okay. Um, that's our wedding chapel website with all our packages and rates and services. Okay, um, the um, Magnolia House Inn for guest room stays, maghousehampton.com. Uh, you can book online or you can call to get information and make a reservation. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you for having mm -hmm. us. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. And thank you all for watching. And if you need a weekend getaway, keep the Magnolia House Inn on your mind.